Funding for this program is brought to you by Alpha Natural Resources. We fuel progress around the world. We do this through the energy of our people. Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. On the web at camc.org backslash kids to learn more about the 5210 initiative to keep kids healthy. And by the West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians. For more information, visit us online at www.wvmic.com. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Abracadabra. Oh, welcome, welcome. Say, Joey, what are you working on? I'm working on my math problem. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, but I can't get it to work. Oh, well, maybe I can help. Oh, that would be good. See, I have an apple. I see the apple. Now, if I take another one here, yeah. how many do I have? You have two, one, two apples. Yeah, that's what I thought. What the teacher said, I have a pair. Oh, Joey, two apples are a pair. Oh. Uh, what about uh, two oranges? Well, two oranges would also be a pair. Oh, two of anything that's alike is equal to a pair. Oh, I get it. But then what about this right here? That is a pair. Oh, Joey, but this is a pair, P-E-A-R, not pair, P-A-I-R. Oh, I get it now. That's right. What else are you working on? Well, I'm also working on fractions. Oh, well, fractions. Let me test you on the fractions. Uh-oh. No, oh, it'll be very simple. Now, let's take this apple. Yeah. What happens if you cut the apple once? What do you have? Oh, uh, you got halves. That's very good. I've got them right here. Let me show them to you. You see? Those are halves. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna move those out of the way, because what happens if you cut that again? Oh, you got quarters. Very good, let me show you that. See, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, quarters. That's very good. Now what happens if you cut this again? Again? Yeah, uh, ace. Ace, that's right, let me show those to you. Do you see that? Oh yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Eight. That's right. Ace. <laughs> yes. Now, what happens if you cut this again? Again? Yeah. Fruit salad. Oh, Joey. <laughs> Since we're talking about planting vegetables and flowers today, I thought we could produce a flower magically. Would you like to see that? Yeah. yeah that's good. I've got a little stand here and a magic wand. And watch if I tap the stand with the magic wand, we can produce a flower. Look at that. Wow. And if we're lucky, we're gonna take this little tube, place over this. Can you say the magic words for me? Ready? Abracadabra. And watch, look, we produce a whole bunch of flowers. Isn't that pretty neat? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Wish it was that easy to grow real flowers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What are we gonna do now, Knight? Well, Joey, I thought we'd tell the boys and girls a story. Oh, what story? I thought we'd tell them our version of Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay, now in the story, I'll be the giant and you're Jack. I'm Jelly. I know, but in the story, you're Jack. Jelly and the Beanstalk. <laughs> yes, in the story, you're Jack. Oh. And you have a cow, and you're gonna take the cow to the market. I don't have a cow. Jack has a cow. Let Jack take it to the market. You don't understand. You're Jack. Oh. You're going to take the cow to the market. Oh. 
but you never get there. Uh, no, no, why not? Well, you meet this man who's going to give you some beans. Beans? I don't want any beans. I want some potato chips. Potato chips? He doesn't give you potato chips. He gives you beans. Oh. So you take the beans home to your mother, but she's not too happy with the beans. I'm not too happy either. I want a potato chips. Yes. So she takes the beans and she throws them in the backyard. Kerklunk. Yes. But there, the next day in the backyard, where she threw the beans, was a giant potato chip. But no! <laughs> Joey, there was a beanstalk. Oh. And on top of the beanstalk was a potato chip. No! On top of the beanstalk was a castle. And inside the castle was a giant. A giant eating potato chips. Oh, a potato chip eating a giant? Oh, Joey, don't you know that potato chips aren't really good for you? But they taste good. Yes, but did you know that an eight ounce bag of potato chips contains seven tablespoons of fat? Ugh, yuck, yes, yuck is right. And do you know that all that fat can clog our arteries? And the arteries are the pipes that carry our blood. Oh, and if they're clogged, that means you can have high blood pressure and heart attacks and strokes. Oh, we don't want that. Of course not. So you must choose healthier food, like what? Well, for instance, if you want a snack, you can have some Air Pop popcorn. Oh, do you know that only um, Two cups of this Air Pop popcorn contains 62 calories and no fat. Well, here's the popcorn. Let's eat. Okay. Hi, Daisy. Oh, hi, Mike. Were you able to get everything I asked for? I sure did. What are we going to do with all of it? Well, I thought today would be fun to show the boys and girls at home how easy it is to start a garden. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. What do we do first? First, we need some pots, just like this. Okay. But it doesn't have to be fancy. You can use paper cups or styrofoam cups, too. Well, that's easy. Now we get some dirt from our backyard or some potting soil and fill it almost to the top. All I've right. already done yours right there. Thank you. Now, just you take your finger and poke a hole in the middle of the soil. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, this is for the seeds. Easy. Okay. Now we take a few of these seeds from the tray. What type of seeds are these? These are cabbage seeds. Oh, cabbage seeds. I like cabbage. They're healthy for us. They are and easy to grow. Mm -hmm. So now we cover it back up with our finger. Okay. Do that. Is that all there is to it? No, we have to water them too. Oh, of course. So we're going to water them. Not too much okay. or else your plant won't grow. Just like that. Now we set it out on the windowsill and take it outside to be in the sun. Well, how long will it take for it to grow? In about a week, they'll start to sprout. And then, a week after that, they'll look just like this. Wow. And then, in a few more weeks, like this. Huh. A few more weeks, and they'll look like this. Getting big. Yeah. In a few more weeks, they'll Whoa. look like this. Wow. If you give it some time, eventually, it'll look like this. Wow, that's some big head of cabbage. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. And boys and girls could do this at home. Of course. That's that's really nice. Mm, do you suppose they could grow anything else? Of course they can. Right here I have some tomatoes. Oh, just like in our garden. Uh-huh. You can also grow some herbs. Well, I love herbs and they're healthy for us too. They are. This is great. I hope the boys and girls will try to grow a garden at home or at school. Thank you, Daisy. You're welcome. Why don't we take our little plants and take them out in the sun? Sure. Okay. Good. Would you like to see an illusion? Yeah! It's in the illusion room. This is my friend Katie. Hi, Katie. You want to help me with a magic trick? Good. I have my umbrella today. Let me show you my umbrella. Isn't this a pretty umbrella? Can you say yes? Yeah. That's good. You see that? Well, when I bought this umbrella, the man in the store didn't have a bag for me to put it in. So he took out a piece of newspaper and he said, could you wrap it up in that? And I said, sure. So let me wrap up the umbrella in the piece of newspaper. And then after he did that, he took a little rubber band and he placed that around the umbrella too to hold it in place. Now you keep watch of my umbrella. I'm gonna leave it here on the table. Cause I went next door, I bought that and I bought a bag. 
And I didn't know it at the time, but inside the bag, it came with a handkerchief. Hold on to that. The, oh, wait a moment. It came with two handkerchiefs. And three handkerchiefs. Four. Five. And six handkerchiefs. Wow. Make sure there's no more in the bag. That's all. Can you stuff those way back down in for me? There you go. Good. Now, my friend Katie is a magician. She's gonna fool me with a magic trick. When I wasn't looking, she took my magic wand. Can you take the magic wand? And she, oh, my goodness. Look at that. Too many, take that one. Okay, I, take this one. I, no, take this one. Okay, oh, my. Hold on to that one too. Take all those magic wands, and she waved it over the umbrella. Go ahead and wave them over the umbrella. She also waved it over the bag. Can you wave them over the bag? That's wonderful. I think I'll take those from you there. And she tried to fool me with a magic trick. She certainly did, too, because when I took the umbrella out of the bag, in place of the umbrella cover, now were the handkerchiefs. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And in place of the handkerchiefs that were in the bag, now, go ahead, pull it out, was the cover from the umbrella. I'm gonna show you that bag is empty. Let's take a look at this. Wow! But hold on to that, that's not too good because if I take this umbrella, like this, and go outside in the rain, I'm gonna get soaking wet, right? That's not gonna work too well. Maybe we should put it back together. Should we try putting it back together? Okay, let's see if we could do that. I'm gonna take this umbrella and I'm gonna stuff it back here into the bag. There we go, right in. And you take the umbrella cover and stuff it back into this bag. Way down in, stuff it way in. Wonderful. And just take one magic wand this time and wave it over the bag. And can you say the magic words for me? Ready? Abracadabra. Very good. And oh, look, back in the bag. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six handkerchiefs. So make sure there's nothing else in the bag. Nothing else in there. That's pretty good. I'll take those from you. And now let's take a look and see if our umbrella is back together. It is. Look at that. We open that up. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you. Wow. Phew. All this gardening's making me hungry. It's time to make a healthy choice. It's time to play the Make a Healthy Choice game. I'm gonna show you three products. You have to decide which one is healthier. Today, let's look at some choices for breakfast. We have a fruit tart, some corn flakes, and some sugar-coated cereal. Which one is better? If you choose the corn flakes, you are correct. This bowl of corn flakes only has 101 calories and only a pinch of sugar. The sugar-coated cereal contains 120 calories and one tablespoon of sugar. This fruit tart has 200 calories and a half of a tablespoon of fat plus one full tablespoon of sugar. So the best choice is the cornflakes. Make a healthy choice at home and you'll always be a winner. It's time for a quick trick. I have three discs, a green, a yellow, and a red. Daisy, I want you to select one of those discs and put it behind my back, and then hide the other two, and let's see if I can tell which disc you chose, okay? Okay, you have your disc? Mm -hmm. All right, and the others are away. Oh, you chose the red disc. Can you do this for your friends? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by 
the pear. Did you know that the pear is a relative of the apple? The pear is ranked second to the apple as the most popular fruit in the United States. There are over 3,000 varieties of pears. Pears contain vitamin C, and pectin. That's fiber. Pears are packed with fiber. And potassium. Put those all together, and you have the pear. So pick up a pair of pears today. You'll love them like I do. Yeah. Now, here's the quick trick secret. For this trick, you're going to need a paper cup, some construction paper, and a small pencil. Trace the mouth of the cup on three pieces of construction paper, just like I did, three different colors. Then, take the green disc, and punch a hole in it just so that the point of the pencil goes through the disc. Take the yellow one and punch a hole so that more than the point goes through, but the whole pencil still doesn't go through the disc. And then take the red one and punch the hole so that the whole pencil goes through the disc. To perform, take the pencil and place it behind you in your pocket. Then. Ask your assistant to select one of the discs and place it behind your back, hiding the other two discs. Daisy, will you do that for me? Just place any one behind my back Good. and hide the others. Mm -hmm. Okay, you did that. And oh, you chose the red disc. And I know that because the pencil went all the way through the hall. Try that at home and amaze your friends. Oh, what, what's that I hear? Why, it's the exercise song. Hey mateys, are you at home? Stand up, let's have a moment of exercise. Adults and parents too. Here we go. Now it's time to exercise. You should do it every day. Exercise is healthy and get your body into shape. Start by stretching your arms and legs to warm your muscles up. You bend down slowly and touch your toes and then you get back up. Now jump! Jump! Clap your hands at the top. Jumping Jack is your friend. And run! Run! It's too fun to stop. Like you're racing the wind. Jump! Jump! Run! Run! Jump! Jump! Run! Run! I have four cards. There's a red one, a yellow one, a blue one, and a green one. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want you to do, Daisy. I'm going to hide my eyes. And I want you to pick one of those cards and show it to the boys and girls at home. And then put it back into the stand. And then let me know so that I can look again. OK? okay. All right, I'll hide my eyes. OK. OK? Mm -hmm. All right, now here's what I want you to do. I want you to keep thinking of the color of your card. And I have four uh, clothespins, mm -hmm. the same colors as the cards, along with the ribbons. Yeah. Let me see if I can make the clothespin that's the same color as your card jump. Hmm. Can we try that? Yeah. OK, you keep thinking of the card, everybody. Keep thinking of that card at home, too. Here we go, watch. Wow. wow. The yellow one, did, is that the one that you chose? Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, did you like that track? Yeah, yeah. it was good. Yeah, thank you. I sense it's time for Professor Science. Yeah. Hi, Professor Science. Hi, Mike. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. And yourself? So, I'm fine, thank you. What are we doing here today? Well, Mike, I know today that you're showing the boys and girls how to grow their own food. Oh, that's right. So, what I thought I would talk about is, do you know how, when you put the water into the soil, how it actually is absorbed by the plant to produce the food? No, I'm not sure how. Well, what's happening is, within the plant is a tiny, system of, of pipelines that actually carry the water that contains all the nutrients and, and, and the food for the plant and it carries it up the stem into the leaves and into, into uh, the fruit or, or the vegetable that's being produced. And this system of pipelines is called xylem. Xylem? Xylem, that's right. Xylem. And so I can show you that uh, in this experiment. So what, I, what I've done is I have a number of glasses and I've either put blue food coloring or red food coloring in them. And then I've just taken celery that you can buy at the store or grow in your garden. And um, I, I stuck the stalks of celery in either the blue or the red water with the food coloring. And after a couple of days, you can actually see that the water has come up through the xylem and actually is the blue water has colored the leaves in, in, in the celery. So you can actually see can this see one. That. Yeah. And on here, you can actually see the blue in the stem uh, in this system of xylem. Oh, look at that. Wow. Right. And you can actually see it in the stem. Right. On the, you can see the same thing with the red. Here's some celery stalks, and you can see the red, the, the leaves have been turned red, and they started out like this. And then also in the stem, you can see that, that it's come up through the xylem. Yeah, it's red. Right. So now I also took a beautiful flower called Queen Anne's Lace. And you can see it's a beautiful white flower. And I, I put it in this glass with blue food coloring. And look what's happened. Yeah, the flowers turn blue. Blue, wow. Wow, that's a great experiment, Professor. And the boys and girls can try this at home. Well, thank you very much. And remember, boys and girls, it looks like magic but it's science. Say, clock, what time is it? Look at our garden, Joey. It's great. I'm hungry just looking at the vegetables. Wow, the garden's really growing. It makes me hungry looking at the vegetables. That's what I said. Look at all the vegetables growing. There's tomatoes, lettuce, and even strawberries. It's looking great. You can take vegetables like this and make a salad for a healthy snack. Yeah. You can put things in it like broccoli, snow peas, peppers, lettuce, tomatoes, celery, and carrots. Then just toss it with a light vinaigrette and you have a healthy snack. It's fun to grow the food you eat. If you want some healthy foods for snack time and you have a little soil, some seeds and sunshine, everyone should know how to make a garden grow. I will teach you how to do it. You just turn the soil and sow the seeds. Water the plants and pull the weeds. Tomatoes, peppers, squash, and beets. It's fun to grow the food you eat. You don't have to be a real farmer to make vegetables grow in your own garden. to make a garden grow. Now we are learning how to do it. Turn the soil and sow the seeds. Water the plants and pull the weeds. Let us zucchini, corn, and beans. It's fun to grow the food you eat. Turn the soil and sow the seeds. Water the plants and pull the weeds. Tomatoes, peppers, squash, and beets. It's fun to grow the food you eat. It's true. Say, Nike, look at Nike's plan. Wow, it's looking good, Shelly. Yeah, I started this one a few weeks ago. 
I hope the boys and girls will try to grow plants soon too. <laughs> what are you gonna put in your journal today? Well, today I learned that it's easy to grow your own vegetable garden. Easy, yes, but you have to take care of it and water it. Hey, I also learned that it's fun to grow the food you eat and how to make healthy choices. You learned a lot today, Joey. Yeah, now if I could only learn my math. Still having trouble, huh? Uh-huh. Well, try this one. Suppose you had a quarter. I don't have a quarter. Imagine you have a quarter. I don't have that much imagination. No, never mind. Now, you have a quarter. Yeah. You lend me 15 cents. Yeah. How much do you have left? A quarter. No, no, no. You don't get my meaning. You don't get my 15 cents. I oh, Joey, just say goodbye. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Hi. Quarter. This program is made possible in part by Alpha Natural Resources, Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare, and by West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians. <laughs>